So after playing Power World now for over a week, I feel I'm definitely in the right place to bring new players tips and tricks to help them early on within their adventures into this massively open world arc like Pokemon hybrid. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now, if you guys want to join my Power World community, chat about the game, meet friends, join other guilds, share secrets and pals, do go ahead and join my Discord link down below. Okay, so I've had early access to this game for over a week now. I've created multiple characters for testing purposes and I've discovered many tips and tricks I feel will definitely help you out as simple options which can make your life so much easier and much much more so let's get into it guys so before you even start the game you can create your very own custom world we can drastically change the way the game plays for you me personally i stuck to that normal difficulty but if you select that customize option you can customize everything from your carry weight to your damage output your farming and crafting efficiency what happens to your gear upon you dying and so much more i would say be careful with some of the what you pick here but if you do go down this route if you select something you don't like you can always change set settings afterwards from the main menu but you can really customize the way this game plays for you making it way easier way harder making things much easier to do farm craft create build catch absolutely everything so keep that in mind because with the fact you can play in your own offline world and even invite players to your world uh, you can create basically your own servers with your very own settings now if you are looking for the best settings i have made a video with the best settings you can pick which will be on my channel pretty soon so make sure you subscribe and check out my channel for more power world okay so once you've basically loaded into your very own world if you've picked normal or your very own custom settings what i'd do before anything else is i would go ahead and tame my very first pal now upon you starting your playthrough on the screen there are tutorials which you should be doing first uh, now i don't want to completely ignore them and i don't want you to completely ignore them as these will teach you some of the basics and get you XP at the same time. But what I will say is ignore them for five minutes while you tame what in my opinion is the very best first pal. This pal will help you so much in regards to farming, crafting and much more. It also speeds up the process of you indeed doing what the tutorial asks of you. So from where you first spawn into your very first playthrough, you want to find yourself a sphere this game's pokeballs you can do these guys by quickly turning around and following this route downwards and grabbing these chests here there should be spheres within these for you or you can also find them just lying around on the ground once you have a sphere you now want to look for the cativa pal these are those pink looking cats to catch them you need to just simply take the health down and then throw that sphere at them you can do this by just basically hitting lumps out of them when they're at that low half just throw that sphere at them and you will catch them so upon you catching one of these guys you are now good to progress and do what you gotta do and trust me this little dude really helps you out in regards to farming materials carrying dropped items the dude more or less does it all for you as well as helping you craft which speeds up a really slow process you will now move on to building your very first base now following the tutorial you're quickly required to set up said base now in my opinion the best place to build your first base is right here slightly down from the very first fast travel point you come to this area is perfect for starters as there's so many trees rocks berries bushes and so much more so here you want to create your base and to do this guys you need to craft that power box now upon you doing this an area surrounding that power box will be your dedicated base area so choose this wisely as you do not want to be trying to move this layer on as it can and will completely destroy your base built here now you can and will get the option of building more bases later on down the line but for now you just want to concentrate on this base and leveling it up so once your base is set you now want to craft a workbench this off the bat i highly recommend due to then being able to craft tools to further progress your base in regards to wood stone and much more also note guys within that power box 
you can make that Captiva your base power. You will continue on within this area farming for you. Just make sure you put down a supply box for him to take certain materials to. Also, definitely, uh, when you can, create him a bed and a feeding box at the same time. Here, he will put in berries into that feeding box for other powers as well as yourself. Now upon you creating your said very first base, what I'd now do guys is loot the surrounding area. Now within the surrounding area there are plenty of hidden chests which will reward you many materials and even gold which are very very useful. You can do a full lap of this short little small area and find tons of chests which over time do seemingly respawn. I do have a video of a complete run of this area which takes about 15 minutes which will equate to you earning thousands of gold and many other things. That video you will find on my channel over the coming days. But yes, I do truly recommend you exploring the surrounding area, getting a grasp on what's here and what you can do. Now what I will say is you don't really need any assistance from pals while doing this either because you won't really be attacked. But what I will say is if you do take this option and go out exploring make sure you craft yourself a torch because at night this is the difference between pitch black and being able to see. It also acts as warmth for your character if you haven't unlocked and crafted any armor yet. Now nighttime looting does make certain pieces much easier to see things like the effigies and certain chests. You can make these out from quite a distance away. Now in regards to leveling up, what should you be leveling up off the bat? Now me personally, I wasted uh, on my first characters points into things I didn't really need early on. If I were you, I'd 100% spend early points into that carry weight stamina and maybe a little bit of that crafting. Now stamina is very important as you will be doing a lot of climbing when you're exploring early on. Carry weight is self-explanatory, I mean you can just hold many more things. I'd probably spend a couple in crafting too as I said, as it does make a super slow process a little quicker. Now as you do indeed explore early on and start progressing, you do want to get yourself a decent companion which will fight alongside you. Now I've no doubt you playing this game you will catch many other powers before doing this, but in regards to fighting on your behalf and uh, just being with you in combat there's one easy to get uh, power which comes to mind it's basically this game's pikachu it's called the spark it it's a little yellow electric power now you can come and grab these right off the bat if you know where to look and in my opinion it's definitely one of the better powers to have with you and at your side in battle real early on it's also a great power to have at your side when you're going around farming other powers for materials, their very own specific materials, XP and so much more. Now to get a spark you need to come to the areas that they can spawn within. Now they ain't as apparent as some but you will see them if you come to said areas highlighted within my pal deck. Or this location you can see me out on the screen now there's normally a couple here which do respawn over time if you accidentally take them out. Now when you go out on a hunt for specific powers I do recommend you bring yourself a bow which you can easily craft at base with simple materials and with your Captiva they are working for you it should be no sweat. Now once you do find and capture yourself a spark it running around your initial area around your base just taking out everything on par level wise you will quickly notice that you and your powers are leveling up at quite an efficient rate and with powers levels come better and stronger abilities. Now as you do progress and level up, there are blueprints I do recommend you grabbing. The first shield is massively important to survivability and a difference you will notice here straight away. I'd also recommend the poison bow and arrows as when it comes to catching those powers, these can make the difference as these do assist in capturing those powers. The only thing is the poison bow and arrows require poison glands to craft them, which are easily obtainable for the most part. These come from those small uh, psychic powers uh, and they drop them upon you taking them out. Now these can be found mostly at night time although they can be spotted in daytime too but at night time they're very very apparent. So use your spark kit, run around and take these dudes out guys and craft yourself some poison bow and arrows. Now on the subject of catching powers, uh, the spheres you can eventually craft and better ones you will unlock later on. But there are also other things which can assist you outside of the poison bow and arrow. Mainly guys, the statue of power. This is something you unlock real early on and place within your 
space. These you can then go to and use those effigies to level up your power catching skill. And this helps for sure. Now the effigies you'll see, like I said earlier on in the video, at night time, those glowing green statues, these are your effigies. They're located all over the map. And again, at night time, you can see them much, much easier. Collect these, spend them at this uh, statue of power, and it helps increase your skill in capturing bigger and better pals. This statue of power is also where you can upgrade your powers via using power souls, which you can be found out and about in the open world. So as you level through the early stages of the game, it's very important to keep up in regards to your base. And in mine's a real mess right now, I ain't gonna lie, just throw things everywhere as I do plan on moving. Uh, so I ain't forced, you can move and create multiple uh, bases by the way, you just have to level up your initial base, so keep that in mind. Now there are certain things you wanna be building as soon as you do unlock them. Now I know people will mention stone pits and lumbering sites, but for me, in this first spot, I suggest that you do use, they ain't really necessary, as at this stage you will earn more stone via the captiva just mining for you and with the abundance of trees here right away a few chops with that axe will earn you a ton of that wood too so we know initially you want to start with that work bench obviously but you don't want to leave out anything in my opinion from the first three lines these are all very very important then you want 100% to unlock that shield that cloth outfit too and that feed box as i said earlier the alarm bell and hanging traps ain't really required in this early area as although your base can come under attack, the culprits are normally such a low level, your powers at the base will easily take them out. It's also important to know that many of these things you will purchase for your base do require a certain power to even operate them. So it's important to get used to what powers offer because it's more than just on the battlefield. So upon you catching a power, it's important to recognize base traits and what they're capable of. Even the smallest, most useless looking power will be handy for something. But to learn what they can do, you have to catch them. Now, once you catch these, you can use that power deck to see uh, their base traits and what they're capable of and what they offer within your base. So within that power deck, select a certain power and look at its work suitability section. Kindling means it helps uh, in regards to anything which requires heat, torches, campfires, stoves, etc. Planting is a power which will plant seeds within your seed beds at base to grow your own crops. Handiwork is a great little stat as they will help you when it comes to crafting certain things which can take a while. This just speeds up the process. Lumbering means the obvious in collecting that wood for you. Medicine production means they produce very important medicines which can help a whole bunch of predicaments you may find yourself falling into. Transporting is a trait where a power will pick up and collect items that you drop in regards to you being overweight and just dropping certain items. They will then transport them to any nearby storage containers. Watering is a trait where a power will water certain seabeds and other things which do require that water. Uh, generating electricity is what it states on the box. Craftable items which require power, require powers to make them work. Gathering is a trait where a pal will collect berries from nearby bushes and store berries in a feeding box for all to eat from. Mining is a trait where pals will farm rocks for you. And cooling is exactly what it suggests and it helps with items later on like fridges. And then we have general farming guys which again is exactly what it does suggest. So yes guys, early game tips and tricks for new players. Now I have made another video uh, where I state like 30 plus things I wish I knew before playing the game. I'll go into a little more depth of what's on offer within this game and things I've learned over time. But in regards to brand new player tips and tricks, I mean, I think I've covered the obvious here. Uh, but yes, if I have missed something out and you want other people to know about it, do let the world know down below within that comment section. But there we have it guys for another power world video guys if you did enjoy it leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people i will see you on that next one